in case y'all have not seen this right here, this is a picture of the Rolling Stone June 2020 cover issue. For, like I said, for June 2020. Now, for some people like those black feminists and probably BLM, they'll see this as a symbol of empowerment. But to those of us who see this with a wider scope, we will see this as the complete opposite. When I saw this picture, I said, I see what narrative they are not even, I can't even say trying to push what they are pushing and what they have already pushed. If you look at this image, it's pretty self-explanatory. You have a black woman in the front alongside a black boy who we're going to assume may be her son. We see that there are mainly men in the background. It might, I think it might be some women mixed in there, but it's mainly men. But notice that none of those men are beside her. None of those men appear to probably even be maybe even in a relationship with her. And that could be their son and it could be a family thing. Y'all just heard my video entitled Darren Seals warned us where I went through the entire BLM website with the exception of the part about the founders, but you know, it is what it is. And then you look at this picture right here. You tackle on what the government has done, especially to the black family unit since the sixties and broken up tackle on the strong and independent black woman trope tack on all the shit that okra has said on her platform for years tack on all the other shit where you have these bitter individuals who have nothing but contempt for black men and you roll it into a package and you get something that looks like this it's funny because you'll have some women who will claim they want black men to protect them, that you want black men to do this. You want black men to do that. But when you look at a picture like this, what it's telling you is that outside ears have heard when black women have cried and said, I'm strong and independent. I don't need a man for anything. And they'll give you this imagery. Why do you think that so many programs are geared to black women and black girls, but they leave absolutely nothing to black men and black boys? I remember when at one point Barack Obama wanted to do something for black boys with my brother's keeper and who stopped it? Black feminist. When black men and black boys wanted to have something equivalent to a black girl's rock because they saw how successful it was, but they wanted to do something for the boys you had black women saying, why do you need anything? Why, why, why you don't need this? Let us have our thing and you go do your thing, whatever it is. And then you hear them saying, and this is act this, what I'm about to tell you is exactly what this image illustrates. We on the front lines fighting for you. The least you can do is be a man. Or the most. We're tired of you being the weakest link. Where do they have this woman at? The so-called front lines. And notice that the only person beside her is her son. Other than that, she is by herself. While all of her so-called protectors are faded into the background. Because truth be told, many women out here, many black women, and not saying all of them, don't want protection. They want power. They want pseudo power. They claim they hate that myth of white womanhood, but truth be told, many of them want it. After all, didn't the government give them so-called pseudo power? Guess what? 
if they decided to pull out today, your power is gone. And it's back to square one, wherever that square may be. This picture right here is so off-putting to me. And I'm not saying that they could have replaced her with a black man. It would have been dope if they put a black man in the picture next to her in the sun because that's something that we rarely see, which is the family unit. But they're pushing this. And this is Rolling Stone doing this. So it doesn't surprise me that Rolling Stone did this. But after so many years, let me tell y'all something. These publications. They hear what people are saying. So that means black women who were always saying we on the front lines, we're doing this and doing that. Black men ain't shit and niggas ain't shit. Black men are the weakest links. They're hearing that. And you get, you know what? This is an internalization coming to life from your mouth to their pages, from your mouth to their publications, from your mouth to their media platforms. Expect to see more of this. And you want to know what's even more insulting about this? Is that this is off of the heels of a black man dying or being murdered on camera. Not taking away from all the other people, even the women that have been murdered by these terrorists. But the powder keg kicked off in Minneapolis back in May. That sparked really all of what is going on but it encompasses everything else the least they could have did was put a black man right there next to her notice i didn't say to remove her from the equation i didn't say that i said put him there but go back to the video that i did when i said darren seals warned us and when i was reading and it was telling you what they're trying to change the family structure to be They're fine if you are a single mother. They are fine if you are raised in a two-parent household where both the parents are of the same gender, whether it's two women or two men. But they do not support the nuclear family where it is the mother, the child, and the father. That's why when I did that video, I wanted to read through it and scroll through so you could actually see and not so and not accuse me of making this up because many people don't read that site. And I understand why, because a lot of people don't like that organization. And I can understand. Listen, I wholeheartedly understand. I'm right there, right along with you. But I can honestly say that I don't like this image because of what to me, what it shows to me. And if you as a black woman don't feel some type of way about this, then then maybe you're one of the people that I'm addressing. Because this should offend you as well, especially if you are one of those women that. Need your man, especially if you are married in a relationship and you need that companionship, not just on an intimate level, but on a protection level or someone that you can go to for maybe even advice. Or someone who is, you know, they're just there, you know, as a father, as a protector for your children that y'all have. But I see it clearly right here, what it is showing. Now, what I also just realized and I by looking at this picture is that there is a picture of a man on her shirt. Now, I don't know who the man is supposed to be. I'm only going to assume that it is George Floyd. At first, I'm thinking maybe that's a picture of her husband that she's marching for. But at the same time, the internalization has now become imagery. It's coming to life. But, hey, what do I know? That's just something that really stuck out to me re- looking at this picture. And the thing is, I came across this image a couple days ago, and I sat on this whether or not I was going to talk about it. Because I don't think anybody, I haven't come across anybody who has talked about it yet. Maybe by the time this video gets uploaded, someone will address it. It is currently June 17th. 
but hopefully others do address this picture in this image because to me it is not flattering and if you as a black woman it shouldn't flatter you either because i see what it represents and like i said expect more images like this to pop up in the future